Hi there, my name is Paul Halliday and in this course we'll be looking at creating our own ghost theme. By the end of this course, you'll be a ghost theme developer. You'll be able to create themes just like this with your own personal twist. We have everything from the inclusion of discuss comments. We have the subscription. We have the option for your readers to subscribe to the blog. We have things like recent posts, everything you would come to expect in a standard ghost theme. Now, one of the most important things that I want to stress throughout this course is that this is certainly not the be all and end all of the themes. You can create your own theme. You don't even have to follow along with me. You can just follow the same concepts. I'm going to be teaching you from the very, very beginner stages of handlebars. That's the templating framework that we use inside of Ghost. I'm going to be teaching you how you can take advantage of that to get all the necessary information from the Ghost API for then you to create any theme that you actually want. So you don't have to just be limited to the theme that you create inside this course. You can go on to sell your themes on the internet. There's lots of different markets for that. You can do some custom Ghost work potentially for different clients. The opportunities are endless. In this course, we're going to be looking at things like Webpack. We're going to be bundling our JavaScript. So that's really important when we come to actually developing our own themes. We need things to be fast. So we'll be using Webpack to bundle our files. We also will have a third party JavaScript carousel here. That's based on something called Siema. And the underlying CSS framework that we'll be using is called Bulma. If you've never heard of any of these dependencies before, don't worry about that. We'll be diving in, but we'll be doing it at a slow pace. We'll have none of the frills, so you won't see a course here with lots of different slideshows. Instead, we'll be diving into the code and the design in the next few videos. First off, though, we'll be installing our dependencies. We'll need Node.js for this. And currently the Ghost CLI needs a particular version. So let's dive into that installing our dependencies and getting started with the course. 